All a woman needed was fortitude and good manners. The sharp train whistle pierced the air, announcing Lillian's arrival in rural Georgia. As the station slowly came into view, Lillian repeated the fortifying phrase to herself several times, hoping the notion would stick. Conversations bounced around the confined space, adding to the chaos swarming through her. A list. That would help. She mentally ticked off the order of things she would need to accomplish. Depart the train. Locate the solicitor. Complete the paperwork. Return home with her own small fortune and refuse to marry Reginald. Use her inheritance to resurrect a dream she'd buried a long time ago, perhaps. The idea tingled through her, with the treasured memory of a place she'd loved as a girl. All she had to do was claim her father's fortune, and new opportunities would spread before her. Lillian pulled in a deep breath of stale air as the train screeched to a halt. Simple, except for one problem. Mother had never sent her anywhere on her own before. The fact that she had done so now filled Lillian with both annoyance and an odd sense of freedom. Mother had refused to accompany her on this trip, with the flimsy excuse that she was needed at home. She had declined to help her daughter through this difficult time because she didn't want to face anyone finding out. She was the mother of an illegitimate child, not even strangers in a small country town. Lillian grabbed her valise and stepped out into the train aisle, trying to get her fluttering nerves to settle. She'd never even ridden a train alone before, yet she'd managed perfectly well thus far. The thought brought a measure of that buried fortitude to the surface, and Lillian lifted her gaze from her traveling boots. Her grip tightened on the wooden handle of her valise as she scooted her way down the aisle. If she were able to handle settling an estate, what other things might she be able to accomplish? The woman in front of her tilted her head back, and the oversized feather on her hat brushed Lillian's face, tickling her nose. Lillian snorted and scrambled away, desperately trying to contain a sneeze. She stepped directly into someone behind her. A woman yelped. Oh, Lillian shifted her weight off the woman's foot. She looked over her shoulder at a lady whose glare did nothing to help her stark features. I'm terribly sorry. The older woman sniffed and gestured toward the front of the train car, indicating Lillian should move forward. Lillian darted ahead in the cramped aisle. Her valise banged against one of the seats and bounced back to smack against her knees. Heat bloomed on her face. Refusing to let herself get lost in her thoughts again, Lillian managed to depart the train without further incident and stepped down onto a dusty platform. 